Taylor Swift made sure to give boyfriend Travis Kelsey a wink and a nod while performing her song So High School for the first time. During her era's tour show in Paris on Thursday, May 9, Swift introduced a new section of her setlist which incorporated various songs from her new album, The Tortured Poets Department. When it came time for So High School, a song widely rumored to be about her romance with Travis Kelsey, the pop star threw the NFL star a subtle shout-out in her choreography. At one point during the performance, Swift broke out into a swag surf, a signature move done by Kansas City Chiefs fans during their anthem, Swag Surfin' by Fast Life Youngstaz. The singer and her dancers sat on bleachers for the routine, swaying side to side and moving their hands like waves. Swift did her first swag surf alongside Chiefs quarterback Patrick Mahomes' wife, Brittany Mahomes, at the Chiefs vs. Miami Dolphins game in February. Swift then took things to the next level by having dancer Cameron Saunders, who is the brother of former Chiefs player Colin Saunders, do one of Kelsey's signature touchdown celebrations during the lyrics, You know what you want slash and boy, you got her. When the era's tour starts, Taylor also wear a pink, purple, or light blue bodysuit for her seventh studio album set. However, on Thursday, she emerged in a bright orange and red bodysuit. Many fans thought that the color change was a nod to her boyfriend. Travis Kelsey, who is on the Kansas City Chiefs, her current lover. The Chiefs' colors are red and yellow. Oh my god it's not orange it's red and yellow slash gold. She really went all in on the Chiefs' aesthetic and ex-user wrote, the lover bodysuit slowly changing into Chiefs' colors, said another with a gif of the Grinch smiling widely. It's giving the princess of the Chiefs' kingdom another fan said, in addition to So High School Swift's TTPD setlist included songs but Daddy I Love Him, Who's Afraid of Little Old Me, Down Bad, Fortnite, The Smallest Man Who Ever Lived and I Can Do It With a Broken Heart. Swift also played Lommel for the acoustic set, right after the midnight song Paris. Adding in her TTPD album, which hit shelves last month, meant also changing the rest of the concert. Songs like The Archer, off her 2019 album Lover were cut entirely, while the Evermore and Folklore sections were combined into one, on the era's tour we have now reunited the sisters. She said of the two records she dropped in 2020. You can call it Folklore, Evermore or you can call it the sister albums. Swift also took a second to update her show with a brand new wardrobe. She rocked new Lover in Midnight's bodysuits, while her fearless dress went from gold to silver and introduced a brand new enchanted gown. During the red set, Swift donned a new t-shirt that read, This is not Taylor's version. A new dreamy yellow dress appeared for Folklore and Evermore, and 1989 brought a blue and pink sequined outfit. Thursday marked Swift's first show back after a two-month hiatus from the tour, kicking off her international leg that will run throughout December. While Kelsey, who Swift has been dating since summer 2023, wasn't in attendance for the performance, he did show his support by hyping up Swift and her band via social media, LFG. He wrote in the comments section of Swift's longtime guitarist Paul Sidoti's Instagram before the concert.